If you've been on this channel for a while, you know that I am super, super fascinated by history and the possibility of alternative history. One thing that we have spoken about a lot on this channel is the possibility of an alternative timeline called Tartaria. You know, a few years ago, I did a whole video on the child strike of 1899, where all these children came from, these incubator babies, so on, so on, and so on. And even though even though you guys know that I love the drama of history, I love the gossip of history, I love to know the pettiness of history, one thing that is also very, very, very important to me is how the people in history actually lived their lives. And if we look at the alternative history of Tartaria, we know from research that our ancestors in this alternative history that I actually think is accurate, use things like sound and light for their healing. In fact, vibration was really, really important to them. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you also know that I myself have spent a lot of time in India. And in Ayurvedic medicine, one of the oldest medicines in the world, the three main principles are food, breath, and sound, which is also vibration. So today I'm super, super, super excited to be talking to Bradley from Spooky2 about this new product, somewhat new product, a Rife machine, a vibrational machine that will hopefully help so many people with their suffering and their pain. Bradley Johnson has a 17-year background in radio frequency, and for the last seven years, his studies have combined waveforms and modulation. He has been using Spooky2 generators for several years, and now he is the proud owner of a holistic frequency treatment at Land of Ozarks in Missouri. He is committed to researching energy medicine, energy balancing, and the quantum entanglement of cells to provide a fresh, scientific, and intellectual sound data. All his work supports a new understanding of human wellness and infinite possibilities. Now, Spooky2 has now become an official sponsor of Esoteric Atlanta, along with many other amazing sponsors that help keep the lights on here in Atlanta, Georgia, so we can continue doing our research. But right now, Spooky2 is in its anniversary. And down below, there are going to be some discount codes. If you would like to try the Spooky2 Rife machines, you can use these particular discount codes at checkout to get a discount on these amazing products. To celebrate Spooky 2's anniversary, Spooky 2 is offering exclusive offers designed just for the viewers of Esoteric Atlanta. By using the code Happy Bryce, you can unlock fantastic benefits. You will get a 9% discount off their anniversary kits. You will also receive a free gift from Spooky 2. And you will get a Spooky 2 TENS pad to enhance your experience. For the regular full-priced items that are not included in the anniversary special, if you use the code Bryce Watson, you will get an additional 5% discount. Now, again, Spooky2 is now a sponsor of this channel, so all of these discount codes will be down in the description box below indefinitely for you to continue to use these discounts and hopefully find health and healing with these products. From what I understand, these products also do have a money back guarantee. And from my experience, Spooky2 has an excellent customer service base to talk with you privately to help you find the products that are going to work best for you. Now, before we get into the conversation with Bradley today, because you guys know that I'm nosy, I'm a nosy Nancy Drew. You know that I had to look up where the name Spooky 2 came from. Like, why are these Rife machines called Spooky 2? 
Did you guys know that the term spooky comes from Albert Einstein? He referred to quantum healing, vibrational healing, this alternative form of healing as spooky. And you guys know that I freaking love it. I love, we love a good spooky wooky story. We love the woo woo. We love all that stuff. So I am totally here for it. I love the name now because it is that idea of what Albert Einstein referred to as like a quantum healing. I also want to let everybody know that when we refer to a Rife machine, we're referring to a machine that, yes, lets out electronic vibration. And this is named after the man who developed this, whose last name was Rife. So with that being said, let's get into our conversation with Bradley. All right, you guys, you just heard the introduction, and now I'm so excited to be here with the man, the man of the hour, Brad Johnson. How are you doing today, Brad? I am so good. Um, like I said, it's always a wonderful day. We're moving into the weekend and things are happening, so I couldn't be happier. That's amazing. And I love I love your setup with all your, uh, your science, your Nikola Tesla and all that stuff, because we're going to talk about that today, aren't we? Big Tesla fan, big uh, Royal Raymond Rife fan. Uh, again, you know, like these are the people who I've I've grown up admiring and 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 supporting from the stances of what they made technology advancements on. So I'm really excited to talk about uh, resonant frequencies and how Spooky Two plays a role in all that as well. Yeah, it's um, I uh, for me, you know, I I've, my audience knows that I've spent a lot of time in India as well before going on YouTube, where I've studied Ayurvedic medicine, Eastern philosophy, um. And what I was saying in the intro as well, Brad, that even in Ayurvedic medicine, which is one of the oldest medicines, they have the three, the three founding foundation are your breath, food, and sound. And sound is vibration. Yeah. And so we, we see this in a lot of these old, um, these old religions, these old scriptures that far, far predate any modern you know, information that we have now. So, so let's actually, Brad, can I ask you, like, since you've always been a fan of, of Tesla and these, these science guys that kind of worked in this quantum healing realm, yep. what, what, since, like, what is, what was it about your childhood that made you go, wow, these guys were onto something. What was that moment for you where you realized there was something to this? So honestly, like, uh, I couldn't even explain it from a younger Young, young man perspective like when i was growing up something just has always drawn me towards the fascination and understanding of wanting to know and re wanting to research into them like i could never explain it and for years like i diligently studied studied as a wireless engineer learning about modulation the propagations and everything necessary for this for multiple 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 years and i was diehard fascinated with it but could never draw the link to uh, understanding as to why and then when I started researching, uh, you know, and kind of going back into the um, Einstein era and Tesla era, and, you know, you're talking about individuals who had competitions between each other as to, you know, when they were asked, who's the smartest man in the world, the other one would say the other, you know, and so, you know, like, uh, but the types of technologies that you kind of learn and more get more into it, like, God built me perfectly to kind of focus on exactly what I would need to know as I progress into learning how to do this from a healing perspective as my, you know, uh, perspectives changed in 2020, uh, kind of helped open my eyes to knowing that there are alternative methods out there. Like I've been struggling with my own health issues for years. Uh, and so when I, and starting in, uh, seriously, like in 2018, I started using spooky two systems to start addressing all my health issues and, that's ultimately started that shift. And by 2020, 2021, I was completely not focused on being a wireless engineer anymore. And I wanted exclusively to be, you know, starting to help people. And so that's where I started working through the Spooky 2 systems and help. Again, I started with myself, my friends, my family, anybody that would let me uh, try to run certain things, frequency programs on them. And the rapidness of how quickly things happened, I just, you know, like I said, I very quickly levitated to it. Yeah. So how did you find Spooky 2? Did you always know of its existence or was it just a sort of a happenstance, a serendipity uh, yeah. happenstance? Well, you know, Spooky 2 has been around for 11 years. So yeah. they're kind of a, they had a name out in the market when you start to go out and research like Rife and how you bring frequencies into the house and how you kind of try to create the environments of what he was accomplishing in the 20s and 30s as he was getting big. But the main reason why I started working with him the most is simply because of the fact that 
as I did more research, it seems like there are a lot of different companies that offer different types of holistic health alternatives to this, or they promise to solve that. And they're never really, you know, pulling the trigger with regards to the devices that actually deliver on that. Right. But when I started working with Spooky too, like again, uh, out of standard, the weirdo engineer side of me, the first thing I did when I got it is I took it apart. I looked at the chipset. I watched, I looked at the board, you know, I looked how everything was put together and it really helped me just draw one conclusion that from a cost perspective, that you won't find a more realistically well put together means for delivering raping frequencies into the house. And so that's what introduced me into getting started with Spooky 2 and just kind of learning their interface. The software, believe it or not, is free. Like anybody who has a Windows based laptop, you can download the software for free. But owning a generator in the house is your means for running any one of those frequencies that you want to. Yeah. So it, can you explain for my audience who is um, not science minded, like what oh, yeah. is the workings of this, the, of a Rife machine in general and, and Spooky 2 more specifically, what is it actually doing? What's the mechanics of it? So you're using a database that's a, uh, the Spooky 2 database, which has a collection of over 60,000 frequencies in them. And these frequencies impact different lower vibrational things that impact your body. So everything of one nature or another has a vibrational frequency. And when you resonate with that frequency, you can break it down and remove it then from the body without impacting the healthy cells inside of you. So what Spooky 2 brings to the game is a means for providing the generator and the different accessories for making that happen. So it's literally using like a, almost like a pulse technology of vibration. You know, it's, it's wild. Cause you think about, you know, I remember when I was a little kid, cause I'm not, I'm not a sciencey person. I'm, I'm, I've, yeah studied literature, you know, um, okay. but I, I study poetry, <laughs> but, um, but, you know, we're, as our bodies are matter, you know, from, from my memory of science class, like the way the atoms and the molecules move, it's all constantly moving and depending on the re rapid depends on how solid the matter is. And so if, if atoms are constantly moving, if nothing really is solid, then, then it can be penetrated. It, it makes sense that it would be able to be penetrated with vibration and every living thing has a heartbeat, has a vibration, has a, a wiggle to it. You it's know, beyond penetration though. Uh, yeah. Like for example, when you take a remote, something like this, this is a spooky to accept if you simply open this and put your fingernail in here when your dna is in here you can go anywhere in the world and that will reach you so you're not talking about having to physically be hooked up to something or sat down in front of something quantum entanglement will take you anywhere isn't that wild it's like uh my friend Catherine edwards and i were talking about the 100 monkeys um experiment yesterday for those who aren't familiar it's like the idea that you can have like, you can have they would experiment with a group of monkeys on one side of the world. They would start collectively doing something. And these monkeys over here would also start collectively because there's this transmission of consciousness. It's yeah. like, when, you know, you might call it, you know, woo woo or, or psychic abilities. But it's like when you know someone's going to call right before they call, you know, or you think about someone and then the phone rings, you know, it's it's that quantum energy traveling, isn't it? Quantum entanglement was proved under scientific fact, you know, like this is why like Tesla and and Einstein had kind of such butting of the heads because Einstein already had a proving theory of relativity that was out and the quantum entanglement process disproved that. And so that was a worldwide and globally accepted understanding of, you know, a, a, a theory, supposedly. But when Einstein was sat down and they showed him the, the 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 breakdown of how quantum entanglement was possible, the only way he could describe it was spooky action at a distance. Yeah, I I, qu I quoted that in the beginning because I because I'm uh, Brad, I'm I'm nosy. I'm very nosy. So I, I uh, and my audience knows I do deep dives into like weird historical stories because I'm petty and I'm nosy. And I looked, I was like, why do they call it spooky? And I, I found that story. I actually loved that quote because it is how it is. You know, we live in this world where we're told we live in this like matrix. But oh, yeah. Yeah, most of us, most people in the world have had a paranormal experience or have had something happen they can't explain. And it kind yeah. of off kilters you a little bit. And you're like, but this doesn't make it. You, spooky is a great word. I love it. I love it. So, yes. um, so that's where they got the name, correct? Was from his yep. quote. Yeah, that's where they kind of branded the name. But like, if you kind of go back and you know anything like from an understanding of Royal Raymond Rife and how he lived his life and kind of the angles of what he did and accomplished during that lifestyle and how he tried working against agencies like your big four rise, you know, uh, 
companies that like label and brand themselves as rife machines will never succeed. You know, like that's totally opposite of what Royal Raymond Rife would have wanted, you know? And so like no company out there will ever kind of want to label themselves as being a rife machine because then you bring everything of the, you know, the issues of what he had to go through right to your product. Right. Right. And that is the big, that is the big, um, you know, we're, we're starting to, I think more, more and more and more people are, are, are realizing now how much we have been duped by these big companies. And I know I come from a family of medical doctors, my mom's family. And when 2020 hit, I was so devastated because all of a sudden I felt like my family were the bad guys because all of a sudden I was so aware, you know, of everything I had. And of course I had already spent many years studying alternative medicine in India um, because I was always really much, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg, what came first consciousness or matter. Well, in any spirituality, consciousness comes first. Consciousness is the cause that creates the effect. And so, you know, in, in yoga and in India, they call it the Shiva is the soul and the Shakti is the creation of the soul or the body. And so, um, yeah, so we can you want to talk a little bit about Raymond Rife? Because I just learned about him when I was doing research and, and what an extraordinary person. Yeah, Royal Raymond Rife was a very incredible individual. Again, similar to Tesla with regards to his upbringings or his knowledge and understanding. You know, like these are types of individuals that if they didn't have the necessary tools or equipment to proceed farther in an advancement of something, they would build it. Um, as was the case with Royal Raymond Rife. He built the microscope, and at that time, this microscope provided live visibility to a microorganism under observation so this was the first time you could take like a drop of blood put it under this type of microscope and physically th see things moving you know like to this day like if you've ever dissected a frog in a science class more than likely you've used some version of his universal microscope like it's the same type of product but the purpose of this is once he started having this visibility of these different microorganisms, he started identifying that while using certain frequencies and causing resonance, that only certain microorganisms on the slide would resonate, while the other microorganisms were completely unimpacted. So if he increased the amplitude just slightly of that frequency, it would cause that cell and only that cell to shatter. That gives me chill bumps. That's, you know, I don't know. Um, I, I, um, you know, it's, it's, we see, and I'm, I'm a student of the law of one. So my audience hears me talk about this a lot. And we see this on this planet, we're in a polarity of dark and light. You can call it God, Lucifer, goody, whatever you want to call it. You know, right. these, these polarities, that's what third density is. It creates friction. Yeah. And I have learned, you know, through this, this global issue we're all in that we know that the lower vibrations sit in a certain area in our body and the higher vibrations and the darkness can't get to that higher. So what they do is they bring people down low in order to penetrate and get consent. And so that gives me chill bumps. Were you talking about using these frequent, these, these tools to help kind of help you move with, move with your own it's 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 like it's working with your own nature right with your well, own not only that but like in addition to that like this is a means for you being able to take control back into your own hands your own life like you can wake up and say oh i feel like this this and this and you run these programs for it and then all of a sudden those specific low vibrations that you just described remove themselves and you get your whole day your whole month your whole everything back and all, you, you, if you don't have your health you don't have anything i mean let's be honest like it doesn't yeah. matter how rich you are if you don't have if you don't no. feel good then it's not, it, you don't have, your health is everything. Now no. with the spooky two, one thing I know, cause I know somebody's going to ask this question. Let's say you have the, the spooky two machine in your house or one of them in your house. Do you have to sit like with the machine or can you get up and do things and, and put, like, how does it work? How's yeah. the So there are multiple different methods. And most of the time, like when people first start with buying a spooky two system, it's going to have a kit and inside those kits are all these different methods for how you introduce these frequencies into the body. We kind of talked a little bit about the remote, you know, every kit will have this remote or the quantum ability to be able to put fingernails or DNA into this and have frequencies impact you. But as you step up with regards to more, um, uh, effective means for entering those frequencies into the body. Now you have things like contact where you're bringing tense pads and uh, hand or hand cylinders where you're holding on to something to bring those frequencies in via absorption. You know, you move up again, you have methods like cold laser. So now you don't have to worry about absorption. You can use low laser light therapy to bring the frequencies right into the bloodstream. So this is a tremendous method of delivery when you're trying to bring something into a targeted area. Like Again, perfect example of this would be you put this thing on your wrist and you run a carpal tunnel program that will break down that carpal tunnel, remove everything out of the body, and then the issue is gone. You don't have to put on any more wraps or any type of ointments or any stuff like that that you normally would. 
Now you mentioned like pulsing earlier, like the, the PEMF coil also comes with the kit. It's This has the ability to pulse. But what's so incredible about this is it pulses every half a millionth of a second with a depth of up to six inches. So if you're hitting stuff like deeper organs or things like yeah. that, you have much better penetration with something like this than you would with something like this. But they all come as a kind of a startup kit as you kind of learn and explore how different things are going to be put into your body. But honestly, that's really, truly just scratching the surface. You can take one of these guys and hook that up and then take an essential oil or a distilled water kind or anything like that and then pulse any one of those frequencies into that. So let's say somebody, because I, I struggle with things like digestion, like my, I, I have a very bad colon, I always have. So, yeah. um, and I've, I've been able to manage it with, with following the dosha system with the diet, but let's say I'm having a, I know I've had people write into me that they have a bad digestion too. How would yeah. the spooky too, what would you do if you have, if someone's getting this pro product, they have chronic bad digestion, how would they use this product to help them with their, like a, like a, a vital organ, yeah. like the colon? Well, and again, like th there are specific ways that you go in and design programs around what, what you're using the programs for, whether you're healing or killing stuff, you know, from a killing modality side, you're targeting pathogens, where from a non uh, pathogen side, these would be healing modality approach. So if you have a specific organ like the liver or kidneys, you can go in and design programs j just to design to detoxify the liver, the kidney area, the lymphatics, you know, whatever specific that is relevant and happening in your body, you can build relevant programs on either healing modality or killing modality sides that can be delivered to the body. That's this basically is like all in one, like, you know, a multi machine for every issue possible. That's I, a now, if somebody, let's say, just from a business perspective, because I know I can see these questions coming. Let's say that's, now I know I've, I've been on the website and every, it looks like you guys have, Spooky has an incredible customer service support. There are people yeah. available to help customers who are new to this, but know it, uh, correct. Like if, if one of my, one of my friends watching right now gets the product and they don't know how to do it, they can call up the company or email the company and someone will help them, correct? The technical support side is wonderful for troubleshooting problems or issues with the, to, the the products. However, if you need help with a product, there are people like me and other gold certified trainers that are, again, this is what we do. This is how we take what we know and understand about using this product for the last several years and help other people know how to be as effective with the same devices they have in their house. That's, uh, yeah, I was so impressed by the website, like just the ability to be there for people. And you're right, it's, it's, it's the, it's the person taking their sovereignty back when it comes to their own body and their own, you know, so, so if it's a colon issue, you, yeah, you got to know whether you're an, an organ issue, whether you're going to kill something or if you're just, you know, the and a lot of the time stuff will break down to like base root causes like leaky guts or, le you know, some type of symptom is causing the issue in the digestion. And if you can narrow down what that is, now it's like direct shots because you can go in and, tar and target specifically what you need to. That's amazing. What about like somebody I'm just I'm thinking of different things. Someone who has like lower back pain when it's literally just like a tight hip or lower back. Can the spooky to help with like tightness and joints from stress? 100%. Yeah. I do this all the time, like particularly I have a, a couple of clients that I run on a remote basis uh, where I have their DNA here where my office is in Missouri. They actually live in another state. But when they are going to go hiking, she simply gives me a text message and I alter on some back related programs for her and her daughter. So before when we would run programs, her and her daughter could hike anywhere between three and a half to four miles or so up and down back to the car. But with the programs running, they can do seven to ten, all with no back pain that that and you're saying a mother and her daughter so i'm imagining the mother is not in her 20s right like we have this idea that we're getting older so therefore we must get weaker but i've actually i'm in my 40s so actually i actually find the more better i we're still breathing as long as you're still breathing you're still capable the the, the day before my 40 41st birthday i ran eight miles you know like you can still that's that's incredible i think we've got that mindset though that as we get older we have to all of a sudden be feeble but it, it's just science is just proving that's not that's not the case is it no not at all and again like that's one of the biggest things is trying to break that mind disconnect is because it's so we've gotten all so brainwashed into the habit of waking up and being like oh i feel this or i feel this i need to go get that or i need to go get this it's totally different when you say, no, I just need to run this. Or I need to apply these to my body. And then once things balance out, it resolves everything. Like you didn't have to put anything in. You didn't have to change or alter anything. You just had to remove the vibrational threat that was causing the problem. That's the whole um, disease, right? Disease. It's being out of harmony, out of whack. 100%. It 
And you're so right. It's uh, the second sutra. Um, the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Patanjali was a scientist. And he, 5,000 years ago, wrote these Yoga Sutras. And it was literally all about this. And he, 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 called, he called the common threat to our own vibrational disbalances are as our, our thoughts. It's the second sutra, Perfect. the first uh, pot is yoga to divriti narodaha, that yoga is removing the mind stuff because vrittis were like dropping up, it's like the thoughts that you drop up, like you drop a pebble in a lake in the vibration. Like we think these thoughts and they settle and the body just reacts to sure. the cause and effect but then vice versa you know if the mind change the body changes but also it works vice versa if the body starts to change the mind will then start to change as well and it does seem like with products like spooky too that that can also be true where the body will start to send the information to the brain that it's feeling better and so then the mind starts to alleviate its own problems as well well, and furthermore, like a lot of the times, like a lot of people don't even know some of the issues are present. But when you start running certain resonant frequencies, you have a tendency of removing some of these trapped emotions and things like that, that as they come up and release and everything changes in the body, it changes the way people think. It changes the way people feel and interact like it can do some very incredible things, but no different than any of the other systems out there on the market. It's one of those systems where you got to learn it and understand how to use it, put it in an effort and it'll yield the result for you. I, I can see I could talk about I can nerd out on this stuff all day because it is you know we talk I actually shot a video yesterday I haven't aired it yet on my channel but um we talked a lot about psychosomatic and I actually said I personally believe everything is psychosomatic um as far as the um eastern philosophy we have three different karmas we have our own personal karma our family's lineage karma so inherited stuff like if your mom was sick and you inherited that might be a karma you inherited and we also have collective karma and um so everything, therefore, starts with thought. And so so that you brought up a really interesting point. So let's say, Brad, let's just say that somebody's having some like lower back pain, hip issues. And I know as for what I do for a living that that often signifies like an abandonment issue or a betrayal they experience as a child that's now manifesting in that area of the body. Now, let's say they hook up to this machine. It's possible that you could start to feel those emotions bubble up as they're being cleared out, right? 100%. Like a lot of the times when I'm working with clients, even on a remote basis where they're asking me to run programs for this or for that, they will have emotional ties because of the fact that those things are being broken up and pulled yeah. up t those tied emotions with them. Yeah, it's like I explain it to my students. It's like when you pressure wash your driveway with the pressure washing hose, you start to penetrate that and the mud comes up and then it rush, run, runs away. So I, I want people to understand that when you're going through any type of healing like this, it's totally normal to feel that come up. Don't try to suppress it. Let it come up because that's what yeah, it's absolutely. doing. It's getting it out. It's detoxing it. Just like you detox um, food out, you're also detoxing emotion out as well. And you do. And that's true, Brad. Like we get so used to as human beings, it's part of our resilience in a lot of way. We get used to feeling bad and we don't sure. realize we feel bad until we feel better. <laughs> we you know, I'll give you a perfect example of this. I had a client one time and I was talking with her uh, on a Monday from following up from the weekend. I was like, hey, how'd your weekend go? And she's like, oh, my Saturday was great. We did, we did this, we accomplished that. But Sunday I woke up and it was rainy. And so I started being depressed. And so and like that's, I was like, so wait, you kind of, you woke up and you took a look outside the window and that defined the whole entire downset of your day from that trigger of depression all the way down, got worse and worse and worse by the way it was precipitating outside. Is that yeah. right? You know? And I'm like, why didn't you just call me? I could have put on a depression related program in 20 minutes. You could have had your whole day back. That, you, you know, and yet, you know, you, you hit on a good thing too, because sometimes we have these, um, sense memories where we don't and I did this study when I was in college where I had to study sense memory and I was at this point I was in the UK and taking a class and they we had to blindfold ourselves and smell things and I smelled one of them was freshly cut grass and I had an immediate visceral negative reaction to freshly cut, 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 uh, cut grass whereas my classmates who were from the UK had a really positive the reason why I had that visceral reaction is because in the southeast in the summertime it's hot as hell and as sure. a kid, we would be stuck outside in this heat with the mosquitoes and that was my reaction and it does put that vibration and comes into your body and so what could have happened is she could have seen the rain something could have subconsciously triggered from a past trauma and then all of a sudden the mind has brought up that vibration but if you can catch that right when it's happening 
to course correct it, then that alchemy, the body's alchemy starts to correct. You all of a sudden yeah. lose the connection to that that past traumatic because memory. You don't allow it to snowball into bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger and worse things as the day progresses. Yeah, it's course correcting. It's it's being able to observe that and having these tools, having these these the access to this stuff to help you assist you in that in that um that path. Um and so it's it's are you familiar with Tartaria, Brad? Have you looked at the Absolutely. Tartaria? What, what are your thoughts on that? I'm so curious because this reminds me so much of like the cathedrals and all the stuff that they, the theories of Tartaria and how they used the. Well, I 100% believe in the Tartarian population. I believe okay. that there's a reason why. Um, and again, this is just my personal thoughts and my own research, but I believe that post-World War II um, that you had a lot of runs that were designed exclusively for the removal of these types of locations because yeah. of the advancements of the technologies that they were representing in those areas. Um, and again, same thing, like, has anybody ever questioned why you you see the removal of all those ginormous bells? It's because all those bells used to cause super resonance. You know, like before churches kind of converted into churches, they were healing locations yeah. where people would come and you would resonate with the building. You know, again, Take a look at your local church. I bet 10 to 1, most of these places have organ systems that the church could never afford, you know, but the organ systems, as they resonate throughout the whole, you know, make of the building, it resonates with the geometric design. It resonates with everything. This is exactly how the stained glass windows are all made. You know, like it's, these are healing places. And, and so, um, the removal of this type of technology and stuff like that. And again, like, being such a big fan of Nikola Tesla, you know and understand how he earned the rights to broadcast the energy for the Chicago World Fair. You know, so same thing. Like, this is right when the kind of the rise between Tesla and Edison was happening between AC and DC. And that's an awesome story. Like, if you venture down the road of kind of learning how uh, AC was created and used for those those fairs, it was amazing. And again, all the technology... There was just way, way, way too much to have rapid, massive fires take down all these miraculous displays of technology. Again, while all of us were kind of looking one direction, you know, again, like you take a look at like the Great Wall. I wasn't built on that side for a reason. You know, like, you know, and understand like it was built with a technology that was higher than people were using other more advanced stuff. Yeah, it's my thing when I first started looking into Tartaria. Um, like where the Champs Elysees is, where all these are, uh, arches are. If you if you look up, it looks like somebody threw a magnet down, and the perfect geometry extends out of that. And it, you know, there's that great like seven hour documentary where he's like, yeah, right. Like, you know, like you look at Washington, D.C., like how did a bunch of people on horses and wagons build these miraculous buildings? Yeah, right. Like, you know, um, in, in the Champs Elysees in Paris, you look at it from the sky, you see how geometrically perfect it is and these people yes. didn't even they couldn't even clean the mud off their clothes you know what what is it that we we're missing and and it's and if our collective ancestors were a part of this civilization then that sense memory is in us as well and um you know my my theory with tartaria is that um the we've already had the apocalypse and the thousand years of peace of has already come and it was tartaria and now we're at gog and magog and 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 um with the, and you talk about the world in Chicago, the World's Fair, because wasn't it that the World's Fair was also actually a rouge to get rid of a lot of Tartarian stuff too? It was set up as a display, and then they destroyed it once once the World's yeah. Fair. Was over. Well, and again, like you're, you see like certain technologies being introduced at those fairs, like super massive hydraulic washes and pumps. Yeah. Like this is where the concept and the idea of these mud floods came from. Yeah, it's so fast. And so it's, it's like, no matter, you know, and, and I look at these big businesses, and, you know, especially like the Rockefellers and what they've done, and, and you definitely see the connivingness between manipulation of what, you know, you know, in my opinion, because I do believe in that there is a God, there is a creator and science and God are one and the same. But they've tried to separate that separate, you know, anything that's woo woo, like I guess this would could be considered woo woo from actual, but but what what good has that science given us when we can't expand when when people are sick 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 and they can't live a healthy life and um you know yeah, and you'll I, never you'll never have like the medical industry interested in something that is designed to help heal people because right. there's no financial monetary gain in that 
No, there's none at all. None at all. And um, I, I, I've told the story on my, my, uh, my channel before about my struggles with that, my de digestive system. At, and by the age of 15, I figured out that doctors can't help me. And it took me like 15 more years to go to India and actually find something that could because I realized I li listened to these doctors explaining my condition to me. And I was like, that's not right. Like, I'm living this. Like, what you're, that's not correct what you're saying. You know, now what is it too? Because I've, I've done, this also works with the blood as well. Like, you know, and the blood is the sacred DNA. I've, I've done a huge deep dive. So blood fascinates me. We have all these different blood types. I myself am O negative. So I got nothing in my blood, you know, like, and it create and it actually has creates personality types with it. It creates different levels. You know, a lot of athletes are O negative because they take in more oxygen. And so when you're looking at a machine like this, is it going to intuit? read like whatever your blood type is and help can you explain that a little bit more because i know that's a big thing with this product too well again remember you've got the control of what you're running but specifically like there are relative frequency programs for circulation blood sluggish you know like detoxification blood purification like ways of helping the overall circulation and moving things in the body regardless of the actual blood type yeah. you know like but the concept um again of using blood as a means like i use blood very routinely as a method for how I interact with all of my clients, you know, like it's uh, blood is simple, it's easier for me than the nails, but I've been a diabetic almost my whole life. So I'm very used wow. to pricking my finger and, yeah. you know, and doing stuff like that. But my methodology is with using the spooky two systems, you know, like uh, I'll show you a particular product. Like this is called a sample digitizer. You hook this up to the Gen X pro and you put a, let's say a drop of blood in between these two slides you can run a biofeedback scan on that blood without having to be physically hooked up to anything. Without Same having to go to a lab. Saliva. Yeah, don't have to go to a lab, don't have to do anything. But that can then create a program that you can save into that database. You can incorporate that program with other targeted related programs. And that's how you build unique resonant programs that go after the specific stuff in your body. That's so because I, I believe blood is like the physical expression of life force because even though I'm O negative, other O negatives, my blood panel is not going to, because it also carries your sacred DNA as well. It's, it's your sacred DNA. It's your sacred, you know, and I know for me, like I get poor circulation sometimes. And I inherited it from my grandfather. That's an inherited karma. And so blood has a hard time. And we look at these like old practices like cupping. I used to get cupped all the time where blood would be stuck yeah. in a certain area and they literally lift it. That's why you get a bruise. So fresh sure. blood can come in and heal and heal the whatever needs to be healed in that area of the body. The body, in my opinion, the body wants to heal itself. The body wants to be in harmony with itself. I 100% agree. I think that like when we were born, I honestly and 100% truly believe God gave us the perfect DNA to live long and fruitful lives. Yeah. Now, whatever path or journey that we have all gone down to get to where we are currently you know, or deviated from that, I 100% can tell you that the body can rejuvenate and bring back that original integrity when you break down and remove the things that are impacting your vibrational frequency. I, I absolutely agree. I think at 41, I am healthier because I've been so interested in this for most of my adult life than I was at 15. Because sure. I've taken that proactive. Um, and sometimes I feel like, you know, when we're given health issues or, or stuff we have to deal with, it might, it might suck at the time, but it's the catalyst that actually, so like what you went through as a kid was the catalyst that brought you to where you are now. And that wisdom is so important. So sometimes I think God gives us these obstacles in order to be able to take a deep dive and a deep look at course correcting. And of course, you never know who else that's going to affect. Now, question, Brad, what about pets? What uh, about our, 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 furry, our furry family members? Again, uh, any relevant frequencies that you have in the database will work on animals. They'll work on plants, uh, all the same. You know, like I, uh, this scalar system here over my shoulder, it's a case that when you set up and tune the two cases together, it creates a pure scalar, you know, uh, scalar wave, you know, a Nikola Tesla scalar wave. But my animals, like when we sleep in this wave at night, our animals are drawn to it. Like I have five dogs throughout the course of the house between me and my mother and my wife. But with our dogs, if I can't find them anywhere throughout the house, they're they're all laying on the bed because they are drawn to the scaler, you know, like for some reason. I, and I have pictures of like one of my dogs actually smiling in the scaler field. Like they really are drawn to that type of energy, but no different. You can use any type of frequency programs to impact animals. Like I was uh, running a cold laser session on a dog with arthritis on their hips and knees. And the owner was talking to me about how the dog had been constipated for a couple of days. And I was like, oh, well, do you want me to just put a remote program on for constipation? And they were like, can you do that? And I was like, ah, absolutely. And I walked over to the machine and I stopped and I was like, you know what? 
call me when you get home and I'll put it on for you then. And he's like, okay. Yeah. And then so for, 45 minutes goes by and he texts me. And he's like, hey, man, I'm home. And I started the program. And I texted him back. I said, hey, I put that constipation program on. Just let me know or keep me posted. And 20 minutes later, he texts me back and he goes, mission accomplished, brother. Really glad you let me get home. That Yeah, that was his morning. <laughs> 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 yeah i have my dog i rescue i have five dogs would be my dream we live in the middle of a city so we we have one one little boy um that he's a rescue from india and i've brought like six dogs back from india and hmm. i've learned a lot about because they're considered he's a street dog so he's considered like partially wild and it shocked me my father is actually a vet and it shocked me because when I was working with the veterinarian in India to rescue the dogs, we had to get them little doggy passports and all sorts of stuff. It was really cute. Um, dogs on India, if they're, unless they're hit by a car or get worms, they can live 20, 25 years. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's crazy. And that at the turn of the century of the 20th century, that was the average for a Labrador was 20, 25 years. And now we're seeing dogs live to 10, 14. Yeah, that's 10, 15 times disgusting that's that's not and you know it's interesting with my dog because he is naturally a wild dog i've watched him um just just because i grew up with domesticating you know my father was a vet so we had a lot of dogs and they were all domesticated but ravi he like he only drinks certain water if we're down at the park he yep. won't no matter how hot it is he won't touch the public water that's left for him he only will drink filtered filtered water. He mm -hmm. is very particular about his food. He and so I'm and he has had like I'm thinking because he hey, he does get ear issues because he's not this isn't his natural environment and yeah. we constantly worked on his ears. So this would help his ears, wouldn't it? Absolutely. I mean, you take a little baby fingernail of his, you put it in the remote, and you run the ear infection or ear related programs. Uh, same thing. Like uh, I have a 16 year old miniature pincher, and she's getting to the point where she's starting to you know like. She's old. She's yeah. from a dog perspective. She's nearing a hundred. And so um, she had developed some seizures and it was terrifying. In fact, uh, the first time she had a seizure, I knelt her down in the scaler and within 10 seconds, she came right back out of it. So wow. uh, I was remarkably thankful for that. But in the meantime, like I cut her fingernails and put them into the remote and I started running seizure and seizure related medications for her. And she hasn't had problems since, but no different. Like the, the programs work the same on animals as they do for people, but you do have to be a little bit more delicate, obviously with amplification or the strength that you deliver stuff. If animals are smaller in size, you normally have to pay that attention when you're delivering these continuously. That's a really good point to make. My, my, my boys between 40 and 45 pounds, like, me, me, you know, so that's not, that's like the, that's like the size of what a, a seven year old kid, six year old kid. Right. So you, that's, you would have to look at the weight. That's not a, an adult weight. Um, right. So, so, you, so uh, yeah, so that's something to consider, right? Your children too, like their weight. So you don't want to overdo it with the body um, versus like a man who's like six foot five and 300 pounds. Right. So. Yes. yes. And again, every, every individual, that's what I've found in working with people. Like as a frequency practitioner, uh, in the last three years, I've worked with over 529 different individuals all successfully. And it doesn't matter if they're young or old, they all have different frequency pathways that they can take to removing this vibrational threat and this vibrational threat to removing and repairing that DNA and getting it back up to, to good. You know, like the way I built the business model was like a revolving door. If you have problems, you come in, we kind of shift around whatever the main threats are, and then you go back out there and do your thing. But I'll tell you, like eight out of 10 people that I help, they wind up buying these systems themselves because they feel exactly what I'm running. They can do it themselves. Yeah. And that takes your, it takes your power back. You don't have to run off to the doctor every time you got a cold or does it work for uh, things like colds, like our allergies? Absolutely. Are yeah. Cold, any other thing related that they want to call stuff that are flying around out there. Absolutely. There are programs for, and again, it all is relative to your modality approach, but I give like a, the common analogy that I give is like for a common cold, right? If you do absolutely nothing, a common cold will take the normal person down 10 to 14 days. Right. Whereas if you take the remote and you put your DNA inside the remote and you start running healing modality programs for the cold, because you're telling yourself, I want to heal. I want to be better. I want to be, you know, what you're doing is you're boosting the body's white blood cell count and you're stimulating the immune system internally. And it's going to take a little bit longer to do that but by about day by about day five to seven you'll be back up and running you weren't down the whole 10 to 14 days had you done nothing but what's misleading about that is when you put on healing settings people expect to be healing like right away but day yeah. three you're the same day four you're the same day five you're barely starting to notice changes 
It's because you took a slower approach to that. Whereas if on the exact same first day of this analogy, you wake up, you have cold symptoms, you feel it. You say, I'm going to put my DNA in here and I'm going to run killing modality programs because I know the cold is a pathogen and I can break it down in the body. On that first day, you're going to feel almost even worse because you've now targeted the cold. It's released all of its toxic die off and you feel that. But by day two and three, as that stuff starts hitting your main exit ways, now you're back up and running. So yeah. killing modalities can have a turnaround within one to two or three days tops, whereas healing modalities may take you five to seven days, but they're going to be gentler. Yeah, I, I totally get that. It's like when you do like a detox, like if you ever do like a colon, for people who are watching, like you've ever done like a colon cleanse or something like that, it can cause you almost to get a little sicker before you get sure. better because everything's Absolutely. coming up at faster, which I, that's always, I'd rather do it, have like one day of pure misery and hell. <laughs> that's always my, my Same choice. Thing. Like I don't mind that I can, I can run killing related programs on a remote basis, target anything and everything out of my body and then use a sauna session at night. And by the next day, I'm completely fine. Yeah, it's it's because the body's just got to de it's just got to detox it. It's just yep. got to you know. And you think about that just naturally without anything, without any type of medicine or healing. If you just get sick, the body's reaction to sickness to try to rebalance itself is to make you don't feel well because you're throwing up or you have a fever. That's your body trying to do that on its yep. own get anyway. Yeah. So it's just assisting the body on what it's naturally going to have to do. And you're so right. I I see that all the time in our shala. People come in and they want to. They want to heal. They want to heal, but they want to heal like right away without going through the obstacle yeah. healing. You know? well, same thing. Like I talk to people all the time and they go out and purchase these systems and it's like, okay, well, how long have you been dealing with this? Well, I've been dealing with this cancer for six years. That's not going to go away overnight. You know, like it takes time and, a, and, a, and an effort to be able to sit down and stretch, you know, put in a, a routine of delivery where you can start coming in and hammering this thing out, hammering this thing out. It doesn't matter what the issue is, you know, but it, everything has a pathway. And when you can identify that pathway, these systems are remarkable for, again, taking that power back into the, into your own home. Gosh, this is, this is such dangerous information for the powers that be, isn't it? You, like I said, people can take this however they want to, but you know, like the information <laughs> get out there and sooner or later, we're going to see some pretty drastic changes. As that type of change happens, these types of systems are the means for moving forward that you don't need that old stuff. Right. I have one question too, because I'm trying to think of common stuff that people have. And this is one that we've dealt with a lot in the, in the yoga world. And I know that for any athletes, they probably deal with this. And for people who are um, um, autoimmune deficient, candida, yeah. candida in the body, in the colon, in the mouth, um, for women in, in your your intimate areas, like that's a common problem, and it causes it cannot help with just things like that, like the overgrowth. Absolutely, of and there are body. there are tons of different candida related candida alkins, all kinds of candida programs, but candida is really just one of the kind of underlying factors of maybe something like Lyme. You know, like yeah. in the database, the Lyme and Morgellon protocol is incredibly effective. Like it has seventy eight presets of programming that you run every two days. So you're talking one hundred and fifty six days worth of programming, all targeted in different subcategories of biofilm, co infections, viruses. It's very thorough, you know, and so something like that, you'll you'll definitely hit the candida, but you'll also hit everything else as you run through those protocols. That's interesting that with the line because um yeah candida buildup is usually a a huge problem with people who have autoimmune issues which sure. can be anything from arthritis to Crohn's disease to yeah. you know and, and and so and I'm assuming with an autoimmune disorder you know the ba basic problem is that the the immune system is attacking itself but with something like this that that's also an issue that can be worked through with the immune right. system being a little right. bit out of whack. Rebalance. And again, a lot of the programming that you can find in the system for immune system are things like balance and stabilization, you know, so you can neutralize whatever it is that's not right with that, with the system in the body. That's amazing. What about like, I'm just asking all these, I'm just so fascinated by okay. this. What about like the common aging, like with people, like will oh. this help with the aging process? Absolutely. Vanity, you have anti-aging, anti anti-aging related programs. You have col collagen building related programs, skin tightening related programs. Um, again, depending upon, there are lots of uh, people that have run through cancer protocols that we would run hair loss, like fem uh, feminine hair loss programs that help regrow and regenerate the hair follicles. So again, when you have 60,000 frequencies in the database, it's really hard to come up with something that's not a pathway to getting something better. 
That's amazing because I know a lot of men, we hear that a lot, a lot with men, like obviously we expect it. Men do go through hair loss. But recently I found that a lot of women are starting to experience hair loss. And for women, that's very different than I know men, my boyfriend gets sensitive about that. But for a woman, hair is something very different. And I get those emails a lot from people like, I don't know why this is happening. Yes. You know, there could be a gazillion reasons, but the body is out of whack, right? Because the, yep, the hair is correct. part of your nervous system. It's literally a that's part of your nervous right. system. Correct. So, so again, you can run frequencies like this that help resolve those issues and then help re-stimulate those hair growth. You know, like, again, I've seen this with multiple people. That's unbelievable. It's so, that's amazing. Same thing though, like with the male side, like this happens on both sides, like particularly like with females, like if you're talking as you, uh, as, as women age, as men age, you have testosterone issues, you have hormonal issues, you have, um, again, frequencies for almost anything out there, like as you're trying to balance, whether it be emotional stuff or uh, trauma, anything out there, there is a pathway for it. I'm even thinking about, I remember I worked with this Chinese medicine guy once for a long time. And for women, I'm talking to the, you know, if, if you're a man that has a daughter, you know, we've kind of been told that our cycles each month, you're supposed to have cramps and all this stuff. But I remember this Chinese medical guy saying, no, you're not. You're not supposed to have cramps. It's not supposed to affect you this deeply for your right. cycle. It's you're out of whack. And, and I'm even thinking about like menopause. This probably helps women going through, uh, you know, regulate um, and make make menopause something that nothing that's to fear, but something that's just an easy transition into a different. It, does. it helps kind of take some of the edge off of the things that are going on in the, in the hecticness of life. But additionally, like with again, with, with uh, you know, again, you have cramping, you have all kinds of all. In, again, the sky's the limit with regards to programming. So if you have a, a, an angle of something that's aching or issue, there's a frequency program pathway in there for that. That is unbelievable. I'm so excited about this, Brad. Now, is there a way, like, for I'm going to be putting all the information, guys, is down in the description box. I know I get this question a lot. So both on YouTube and on Rumble, you have to hit the show more button. <laughs> Um, so when you go to the video, the description box kind of looks like this on every video. So you have to hit the show more button and all everything will be will be there for you. All the links, everything. Now, let's say one of my one of my subscribers, one of my, view, one of my friends, I hate calling them subscribers. You guys are human beings. Some of my friends watching right now, all my friends watching right now, if they want to work with you specifically, is that available to them? Absolutely. Um, I work with everybody, you know, like uh, the whole purpose of becoming a, a trainer with Spooky 2 was I got frustrated with people that were taking these systems and then just letting them collect dust in their houses. You know, like I've addressed medical issues in hundreds of different people all across the board. So there should be no reason why you can't know and understand how to use these technologies. So I do all of my training and mentoring sessions on a one on one basis. I record them over Zoom call and I email them over to you afterwards so that as you start to progress and learn this information on a bit by bit basis, as you stack up and feel like you understand it and ready to move on, then we can host another session. But yes, I'm 100 percent accessible. Like I said, I uh, as a as a trainer, I, I run 12 hour days, six days a week. So I make myself available on purpose because when people have issues or questions, I run and host my own Telegram channel that has over seven or eight hundred individual Rife users that are all trying to help contribute to this information. But again, the whole purpose of having these devices is knowing how to use them. That is unbelievable. And I'm so I'm going to put all of that. I'll, I'll get all that from you and put it in the description box as well, especially if you have access to his telegram guys, if you want to constantly stay in the loop of, of talking to other people who've experienced this. Um, and so is there anything else you want to add today, Brad, for our audience who are watching our friends watching? Uh, honestly, like I'm just really thankful, you know, like I found, I tracked this down through my, my own research and I started, I, I will let it be intimidating for a while, but once I took control of it, uh, Man, it changed my life. It changed my life. It changed my wife, my family, my mother, my the people that are close to me, the hundreds of people that I've helped over the years. This is a device that when you know and understand how to use it, that it can change your life as well. But don't be intimidated by it and because of the massive information. Like that's where most people hiccup is because it has a little bit of a rough product learning curve and the technology learning curve. It's just it's scary. But if you venture down that road and you put forth that effort, like I said, this is one of those few products out there on the market that can yield the result for you. And I will say, I actually very much believe that you're never not where you're supposed to be. So I, I hear you saying like, cause I get, I get overwhelmed. And so I can understand someone might, might feel a little overwhelmed, but if you're hearing this right now and it is intriguing to you, then there's a reason why just be patient with yourself. And, and yeah, if you've got Brad there to help you, and if you can jump on the telegram and get support from other people using this machine, 
and, and once you know it, once you learn it, I'm sure it's so, so liberating. Cause then you have, you have the power, you hold the power. It's kind of like the golden rule where you're paying things forward. Like once you understand how to take care and balance the things and issues inside your life, then you decide who you pay that forward to your friends, your family, your loved ones in your life. It's totally up to you. That I totally believe in that 100%. And that's, I, you know, in the law of one, they talk about the people who serve the polarity of darkness versus the people who serve the polarity of light. And on the side of darkness, when they get these secret teachings, they hoard them to themselves. But on the side of light, it's a natural instinct to once you find something that works, you want to go, you have the natural instinct to go tell everybody about it. You know, think about how many times people watching, you've read a good book and you can't wait to go tell your friends like how good oh, yeah. this, you want to share in that joy with people. You don't want to hoard the joy all for yourself. That's no fun. So, yeah. and, and I know we have a lot of animal lovers on this channel. And so everybody's always working, looking for ways to, to also help their, their four legged family members. And so what an incredible, it can help everyone. It's <laughs> right everyone in the family it's for everyone yeah, like i said it's it has been pretty incredible um but like i said don't be intimidated by it if you take that leap um, i guarantee you'll learn how to fly on the way down that is amazing well thank you so much for coming on brad i hope you'll come back i'm going to see if our our audience has any just questions if you want us to do a follow-up on a part two i was even thinking maybe we should do a round table with you and shanti my fr our sh friend shanti from aquarius rising africa who's been talking about spooky too for such a long time um it's amazing so maybe we can even just do like a round table and just continue to talk about this so people get more and more excited about taking their own healing you don't have to feel bad guys you don't have to be in a world where you're you're in pain all the time you yeah. know and again i again i want to thank you for the opportunity uh, any opportunity moving forward i am always in you know like i love uh sharing and passing information on to people to make sure that they understand how to use this or even if you're starting to be curious and this information just barely resonated with you absolutely reach out get more like don't hold yourself back get going i love it i love it and we will definitely be do I'll, I'll talk to shanti we'll do a follow-up guys ask your questions down in the comment section below Go and follow Brad on Telegram and, and also all the links. You get discount codes. There's an anniversary special 9% off um, if you put in Happy Bryce. And then for the, just the regular products, there's a 5% off by putting in Bryce Watson, my name. It's all down in the description box below. Your awesome assistant was so freaking organized. She sent me everything, just all sure. organized. I love it. So, awesome. so, um, so it's, it's all there for you guys to make it so much easier for you if you want to, if you want to try try this product and give this a shot and and live like the tartarians lived so so well thank you so much brad i appreciate you being here have a wonderful day guys and we will i look forward to talking to you soon brad and everybody else about this amazing product bye thank everybody you.